Hello, yesterday was the hottest August day since 2003. Temperatures reached 36.4 Celsius in London. Some parts of southern England didn't drop below 20 Celsius overnight. And for many, today is fairly straightforward. Blue skies and sunshine. Not for all. There are some cloudier areas, one of which is across northeast England. We've got some cloud feeding in from off the North Sea. This is the earlier satellite picture. You can see we've got some cloudy areas across parts of Wales, southwest England, some low cloud perhaps lingering across the Isles of Scilly and Cornwall, and also some cloud developing across London and the home counties. But there will be some spells of sunshine for all of us. It's going to be a very warm, if not hot, day for much of England and Wales. A little bit cooler further north. Come to that in just a moment's time. But uh, temperatures 34, 35 Celsius across parts of southeast England, across northern England, northern Ireland and Scotland. Good deal of sunshine. But with a northerly wind, temperatures will be more like 18 to 22 Celsius. Overnight, this cloud in the North Sea will tend to push its way further westwards. The cloud base will lower some misty, murky conditions. A few showers developing through parts of North Wales, the Midlands and northern England. For England and Wales, another warm, muggy night. Temperatures across southern counties Again, not much lower than 20 Celsius. It will be fresher across Scotland, Northern Ireland and the far north of England. Now, in a zone, say, from southern Scotland through into the Midlands and North Wales, we're going to start tomorrow with a lot of mist and low cloud. That will gradually thin and break, so we all see some spells of sunshine through the day. Could see a few morning showers through parts of the Midlands, North Wales and Northern England, fairly few and far between. Another very warm, if not hot day across the southern half of the UK. Temperatures more like the high teens to low 20 Celsius further north. Now, as we go into next week, for many places across England and Wales, we're going to keep that heat and also low pressure starts to become a more dominant feature. And this creates a perfect recipe for thunderstorms. So through next week, across all of the UK, there is a risk that we will see some of these thunderstorms. When we catch them, they could bring a lot of rain in just a short amount of time, but the daily detail is likely to change. So stay up to date with the forecast here on the television or online. Bye-bye.